When you head outdoors, you may not think about how the routes you follow and the waters you cross came to be, but the access we enjoy today has come from a rich history which enables us to enjoy these spaces. As industrialisation and the wars of the early 20th century set in, the appreciation of the outdoors by the everyday person was starting to become recognised. Workers and their families began to find the freedom in the outdoors and the great benefits of the fresh air in the countryside. This newfound want of access to the countryside was met with a barrier of the enclosure of land, where land was owned and closed off to the general public. Momentum for the legislation to allow public access really started to increase. This began the movement towards creating national parks. The National Parks and Access to the Countryside Act 1949 created the Public Rights of Way network that we know today, and the National Parks began to provide access to these spectacular places. Not everyone has fair, shared access to the outdoors. In England and Wales we have access to less than 4% of our rivers and the right to roam across a mere 8% of our land. 97% of the rivers and 92% of the countryside are off limits to the public. These are critical spaces for everyone to be able to connect with nature for our mental and physical well-being. In addition to this, over 20% of England's population cannot currently use public rights of way due to mobility issues according to Natural England. These mobility issues can be a barrier to access in the countryside as it prevents people from being able to use stiles, gates or other such structures. The Lake District National Park is here for everyone to enjoy, no matter your background, ability or needs. The park has produced a collection of 48 routes which they call Miles Without Styles. They're suitable for people with limited mobility, including wheelchair users, families with pushchairs and the visually impaired, allowing everyone the opportunity to explore the park. The routes are graded for all, for many and for some, helping you to plan your visit. Each route provides details of local facilities and any accessible public transport options. Friars Crag is a beautiful and varied walk to a stunning viewpoint. You can enjoy a short there and back route or a longer circular route back to the car park through Cockshot Wood. Tick off one of the 214 Wainwrights of the Lake District by summiting Latrig, a short but initially steep route to an amazing view of Keswick and Borrowdale. Today we're meeting Debbie North, Access Consultant and Motivational Speaker. Since becoming a wheelchair user, Debbie has been on some amazing adventures and is campaigning tirelessly to break down barriers of all aspects in promoting accessibility for all. Hi, I'm, I'm Debbie North. Not always been in the wheelchair, only for the last sort of 12 years. But before that, I was passionate about getting out in the hills. And it was our way of de stressing after a working week, and we loved it. But then when illness hit and I, I finished up having to use a chair as, as my legs, that black dog of depression sort of hit. So that's when we started exploring ways I could get out in the wheelchair. And we came across Miles Without Styles that many of the national parks have adopted. And these are routes that have been assessed for the, the width of the path, the gradient, the different furniture that's along the way, like seating or you know, the gates, are they easy open gates? And they're assessed for different abilities for you know, people in a manual wheelchair like this one, or people that have got a powered electric wheelchair, have got different routes, different capabilities. And it's brilliant. It now opens up views like this for everybody. Um, it's a very special moment being outdoors. Not only did Angie and I explore routes that we could do, we also explored the different types of all-terrain wheelchairs that are on the market. And we came across this one called the Terrain Hopper. And my goodness, I call it my Four Seasons Hiking Boots. It's, it's amazing. And it's meant that I've been able to climb higher and I've been able to go further. I've done things like Skidor. I've done things like Lencathra. So we had this mad idea to do the coast to coast. Now, Alfred Wainwright said, don't follow my footsteps, make your own journey across from west to east so we did 
And we followed a network of bridleways, of quiet country lanes, and the 190 miles was achieved. We did it. And that really, really opened up my eyes to what is accessibility. And really, that was the start of my journey of, of becoming um, an, an advisor, a speaker, a presenter about open access for everyone, creating the countryside for everyone. My motto being making the inaccessible accessible. The Lake District is just a wonderful place to visit. And a lot has been done. I say the Miles Without Styles, a great resource for anybody who's coming to the Lake District and wanting to know accessible paths. The Lake District Mobility have got different hubs where you can borrow a tramper. So I would say the Lake District have done an awful lot to promote accessibility. We've got to keep going though. It's not, accessibility is not about being a token gesture. It's about creating the countryside for all. And really we need to start looking at the needs of the most needy person. And from then, once we've got that in place, that opens it up for so many more people.